Welcome to Pointers from the Professors. I'm Dr. Deborah Dragza. I'm Dr. Holly Berkey. And today we're going to talk about, that's right, the dreaded name tag. There's some etiquette with name tags. Emily Post actually has some etiquette for name tags. Um, if you're wearing your name tag on your outfit or your suit, your dress or jacket, um, it should be four inches below your right shoulder. That's Emily Post um, rules on name tags. And that's because when you shake hands, you still see my name tag, okay? Um, the lanyard type, okay? So no worries with lanyard putting a hole in your outfit or scrunching up your dress. The only problem with lanyard sometimes is you get the back side of it instead of the front. So I would recommend that you put the person's name, their information, whatever you're gonna put on the name uh, tag on both sides. So mm -hmm. when it flips around, as it's flipped around about 90% of the time, the name still shows. Right. There's some uh, rules with name tags as well. So the name tag should be no more than three lines. I have one on that's actually about seven lines. It should include your first name, your last name. Usually the first name's a little bit bigger, so you can see the first names when people refer to you by your first name. It should include your title and then the company that you work for. Avoid over cluttering. So for instance, if you have a sponsor or something that should be listed on your name tag, instead go with like a ribbon. And ribbons can mean a lot of different things mm -hmm. on the name tags, even the lanyard type. The ribbons uh, could be something like your presenter. So I have one here that says that there was a presenter. Um, it could be also to the designation of a first year, uh, first year conference mm -hmm. attendee, or somebody who maybe is new to the organization. So you have to see them wandering around, you can have, offer help. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, what about the people who have to wear a name tag every day? Like, I'm not a big fan of the name tags, you know. Um, but there are people like service providers, wait staffs at your local restaurant, um, in hospitals, people who have to wear, you know, really require to wear a name tag every day. There's a lot of organizations that require name tags. A lot of it has to do with security, like you mentioned. Um, for instance, at the hospital. So you mentioned the hospital. I know that they have armpits and not their name tags that allow them to get into different spaces so they'll be able to access uh, their own offices even. So if you don't bring your name tag, you'd have that dreaded, they have a vendor name tag and they, they know they're not a vendor because they're wearing their other uniform and that's kind of embarrassing. Um, so yeah, the security, then it also includes credentialing. Mm -hmm. So you could say, oh, this is an RN, this is my, uh, my nurse, this is my doctor, and so that uh, it's uh, helpful for patient communication as well. Right, for sure. And when I go have my oil change in the car, sometimes the person changing my oil has their name actually embroidered on their shirt, so right. their first name. And usually it's just the first name for security purposes. We don't want anybody to be able to you know, track somebody down. So simplicity, security, sometimes just the first name, and, and again, required to wear it. Um, yeah, I'd like to get away without wearing a name tag. Even if I work in a bank and I'm supposed to, I might accidentally forget because, as I said, I hate the name tag, Holly. What are you going to do to me about that? Oh, if, if an employer assigns a name tag and gives you a, a name tag they're wanting you to wear, and some employers go even so far as to require you to wear the ask me my name name <laughs> tag if you forget it. And there's a local bank that does yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So then you spend your day telling what your name is and then also explaining why you forgot your name tag. So if you're conveniently trying to forget it, it's right. not going not to work. work. Uh, and it's for the best to wear your name tag so people get to know your name. Right. Um, and then also, if you're, you, you mentioned the customer service, mm -hmm. so working with Randy mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. auto body shop, you say, hey, Randy was amazing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, customers are able to recognize you as well. Right, exactly. So the name tag, right? We got a lot of them here. <laughs> Love it or hate it, you're oftentimes going to have to wear it. Thanks right. a lot. Um, Thanks. We'll see you next time.